there are many ways of reading. Beyond the variation provided by different kinds of books, there are different modes of relating to those books. Reading on a blanket in a sun-drenched park is different from reading the same book on a train. Learning about a new subject by reading an introductory textbook is different from exploring that subject by switching back and forth between two books that represent opposing viewpoints. On this channel, I will occasionally conduct experiments in reading and share my results. Perhaps this will inspire you to try reading in new and different ways. When you read a book and you encounter an unfamiliar word or reference, what do you do? Do you look it up? Or do you keep going so as not to interrupt the flow of your reading? Perhaps something in between? I usually plow on, but recently I have changed my approach. Lately, I have consistently followed and pursued any question that a text provokes in me. A word that I don't know, I look it up. The author mentions a painting, I go to Google and image search it. A piece of music is playing in the background of a story, I search on Spotify or YouTube. A theory or a fact is mentioned and I will read about it on Wikipedia, and if an idea comes to me as I read, which they invariably do, I now make sure to stop and to capture them in my notebooks. This week, I'm reading the excellent science fiction novel Light by John M. Harrison. The language in the book is rich and imaginative. I gorge myself on novel words. Just a few pages ago, a spaceship leaves fierce annular shockwaves. I look up annular. It means ring-shaped. Then, in the next scene, the action is accompanied by rediscovered coral works by Philip Glass and Leos Janacek. Glass I know well, but Janacek is unfamiliar, so I stop, type his name into Spotify, and then lean back to new and rich, beautiful music. This is music that I would have been unlikely to stumble on had it not been mentioned in a passing in a novel. The juxtaposition of Glass and Janacek must be significant to the author, a personal trace left by him in his novel. By following that trace and other references, my life is enriched. I don't do this to extract the maximum meaning or facts from a text. Instead, doing so makes me more likely just to move outside of my filter bubble. The act is pleasurable, like a treasure hunt filled with the delight of discovery. So next time that you read a book and questions form in your mind, Try for a day or a week to consistently pursue those questions. Overcome your slight reluctance and complacency. Look things up. Write things down. I promise you, the tiny effort involved will be repaid disproportionately. <laughs>